Gary, welcome to AFC Bournemouth. How pleased are you to be here? Thank you, yeah, delighted. I'm happy that it's all been done and, and finalised um, today. I'm looking forward to you know, meeting the boys and the teammates tomorrow, I presume. And just tell us a little bit about how it all came about. Obviously, I was in contact with the manager a few times over the summer. Um, I was aware that he wanted to bring me to the club, so it was an option for a little while. Um, I was in a stage of my career where I, th I felt like I needed just to have a little step back and think about what I wanted to do, what was next, um, you know, what's going to drive me to perform um, in the next season uh, and things like that. So there's a lot going through my head at the time. Um, he was in regular contact and he always showed interest for me to come here. Um, and in the end, like I said, I've, I've made the decision that I feel like this is the best uh, place for me to be at this stage in my career um, and I'm looking forward to getting started. There are a lot of rumours and a lot of interest. What what was it about AFC Bournemouth for you that you know stuck out? I think about like I said, uh, touching on what I said earlier. I think for me, I need. Uh, it was, I wanted a goal. I wanted something to to, to challenge uh, me. And this was a totally different challenge. You know, I've been fortunate to play, play in the Premier League. I think it was. You know, it might be what 17 years since I last played in in the Championship when I was on loan. Um, so it was difficult to obviously um, come away from that. At the same time, I saw an opportunity to be involved in this journey. Um, I saw the squad has been very young, very talented, um, a good manager in place, and ultimately in and around getting promotion. And I see that as, for me, has been a goal and a drive that I want to get my, my, my teeth stuck into this season. So, you, yeah. me you mentioned the manager there. You obviously were England teammates for a number of years. Just tell us a little bit about that relationship. Yeah, I've always gotten well with him. Always gotten well with him. Obviously, I played with him um, a lot younger then, albeit. And he was a fantastic footballer. He had a great attitude, great passion, desire to play. Um, very talented. Um, and aside from that, you know, I know him slightly on a personal level, and you know, he's a very, very nice guy. Um, and he's obviously coming to management, done very well in the short, the short amount of time he's been. He's been in management um, and it's something that I want to be a part of. I, he stressed to me what he was hoping for the year, the way you know, he sees his squad and, and, and the characters and personalities that are in this squad. Um, and he, he saw that I could maybe help you know, progress that on the pitch. Um, and it was something that, again, like I said, it's something that drove me and wanted to be a part of. So, yeah, good relationship with him. And uh, you know, I'm looking to give everything now for him, the team, and, and the fans this season, and see what we can do. He's just come in to see you a moment ago. What did he have to say? Just said I'm delighted to see you, to see you here. Uh, like I said, I've spoken to him many times over over the uh, course of the summer, and this has been the longest period out of the game for me um, that I've ever been involved in. Because you know, when I've been in the international setup and you know, going back a few years ago, um, the summers are very short. You have three weeks maybe in between finishing a season and starting pre-season. So for me to take a good few weeks, a couple of months away from the game, and I think has been has been good for me. I think the body and my mind is fresh, and I'm ready now to to come back. And I'm I'm looking forward to playing. You realise when you're away from the game that you miss it massively. Um, hence why I'm back, and hence why I'm ready to to get cracking. We've got such a young squad here, as you say, and you're such an experienced player yourself. That's going to be absolutely crucial. Is that sort of mentorship role something that you really enjoy? Um, yeah, I, I hope I can bring something to these young boys. You know, what I mean, I, first and foremost, I look at myself. First and foremost, I want to get myself up and running and sharp and contributing on the pitch. It's not all about me just bringing experience. I want to try and bring, you know, my qualities on the pitch and, and in terms of playing and getting results. That's the first and foremost. And Second to that, obviously, my, the experiences that I've had along the journey of my career are there for, for the young boys to tap into. I'm more than willing to help and I'm more than willing to try and drive these young players who have got bright futures ahead of them and, and you know, to have a terrific season. They've started the campaign very well. And yeah, I'm all about really trying to win football matches and I'm all about driving the team as much as I possibly can. So, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see. And how are you feeling physically? Because you know you said a moment ago you've had a little time out of the game. For you, where do you feel that you're at? I feel my base fitness is very good. So when I say I've had time out of the game, I still train. I still I train quite hard in the uh, the off season. Um, so condition wise, I feel good. My weight's fine. Um, I think, like any footballer will tell you, when you've been away from a, the group in terms of training, 
um, even a short side of games in training and possession. Um, the sharpness is where I just need to sharpen, sharpen up over this next week or two now. Um, but the base fitness is there, so it's just fine tuning and sharpening my, myself up and getting ready for, for the games. I'm going to reel off some achievements of yours now. Two Premier Leagues, one Champions League, two Europa Leagues, two FA Cups and one League Cup. You mentioned the challenge of the Championship. How much are you looking forward to that and, and something new and, and hopefully what is a promotion push? Exactly that. That's why I've come here. I feel that this squad is good enough um, to get promoted. I feel that it's, it's very hungry. Again, speaking to the gaffer, um, he's told me the, the, the attitudes and the way that they've been working and Again, that's, what, that's why I'm here. I'm here. I'm not here to, to come and just play a few games in, in the championship. I'm here to try and get promoted and I'm here to try and drive the team to do that. Um, and I'm sure everyone's in that same mindset and, and same position. So that's an exciting thing for me. You've got to think in the stage of my career now. That, that excites me being able to do or to try and aim for something like that. Um, hence why I made the decision to, to obviously join this, club, this football club. And ever since you did make that decision, have you had much chance to sort of watch the team? Obviously, we had that midweek win at Birmingham. Yeah, I watched the game yesterday, yeah. I watched the game last night. Um, again, great result. Got the job done in the end. And um, like I said, very exciting in terms of the, the players and the youthfulness of the team. Um, so again, they've started the campaign very, very well. So I hope I can contribute. I, I want to get back in here now. I want to get sharp and fit and get out there and see if I can help this squad of players to uh, ultimately achieve their aim and in this season, um, to which they've started very well, like I say. And just finally, you've obviously played at Vitality Stadium multiple times in your career. What are your memories of sort of the place and, and the fans? It's good. It's one of the stadiums that's obviously not the, the biggest of stadium, but because of that, you have the intensity of the fans, you know. Um, so I've had enjoyable times here. Um, I've played here many times before, and I'm looking forward to get, getting out in front of uh, the supporters of fans. And like I said, ultimately just trying to help this club get to where they want to be. Um, and I can't wait to get started.